Hello everyone. This is your weekly dose of Formula One. <laughs> Qatar to fall all the way back. I mean, what happened to their performance there? Oh, then that's Stick, just, yeah, I'll just get with you after this oh, uh, just replays of that lap. Yeah. And they're, they're taking the car once again right to the limit on the exit. Just looking at the, at the rear end of that curve just as a result. Just curve, yeah. I mean, we've seen it's not the, the first person to do it, but I like the design of this curve. Yeah. I like that. And actually, um, it, it, he's in a good place at the moment, isn't he, Anne? Because uh, double points finish at the last time, time out in Qatar. And he's using his platform, as is Lewis Hamilton, to, uh, to really talk about some... Just generally uh, been cleaned very well and the tarmac's been treated well but like Turkey so they've got plenty of grip and there's nobody complaining if you've got positive comments coming back on the radio the session was not held in the middle of the day um, and it's not yeah lovely isn't it I mean you don't want to get on top of that curve well you want it that is that yeah maybe that's because of the lights or something but actually I saw 200 miles now come up on the uh, on the dash Ooh. there uh, there David and so here we are street so basically feeling the car at its best at the end of the session and I learned a lot from it that day, and I, I hope that, the, for the, especially the younger drivers out there now in this session, that they, they don't go and do that because you will find... Juts out here, there's oh. some, some corners that are a bit hexagonal okay. when it comes to the concrete wall. Okay. That one was a bit better yeah. for him. There was some suspicion or uh, rumours around the pit lane. Again, it's not just a case of uh, they've got a car for qualifying and not for the race. They fell away dramatically uh, during the Qatar Grand Prix after...